Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. So in front of us is the latest generation for the Mercedes-Benz AMG SL63 Roadster. This model is finished off in moonlight white mango. We'll go over the six figure price tag once we go over all these specs and features and get this luxury style sports car out on the road. So let's start off if we can find the engine hatch release with what powers this AMG. So this has a handcrafted four liter V8 engine that is paired to a nine speed automatic transmission. This pumps out 577 horsepower, 590 pound feet of torque sent through the formatic all wheel drive system. This also has the four wheel steering. It weighs in right around 4,200 pounds, surprisingly even being the convertible. It'll do zero to 60 in three and a half seconds with a top speed of 193 miles an hour. As far as fuel economy goes, you're also looking right around 14 miles per gallon in the city and 21 out on the highway. So let's move on to the exterior styling for this beautiful luxury style sports car. This has two Mercedes-Benz badges, smaller one up top. The front one is for the sensor, so for all of the adaptive crews. There's also a camera system and all of these sensors. And then a lot of gloss black ties in nicely with that white. Plenty of cutouts in the lower section as well as the grill to provide a lot of cooling to that engine. This also gets LED headlights, DRLs, and turn signals with a sleek housing. There's a few lines coming down the hood too. And then I like the white pieces on both sides. It breaks up the black a little bit, but brings back that body colored look. And it really doesn't look like any other car out on the road, a very distinctive front end to it. Now this model also has the upgraded 21 inch wheels finished off in matte black. This gets the six piston brakes up front, single pistons in the rear with the, the yellow calipers. There's even a gloss black for the lower side skirt, which matches the front bumper there. This has gloss black side mirrors with the camera system, integrated turn signal. And then what I love about this car is you can actually put the top up. If I double tap on the lock button, that is how you can raise it. You do have to hold that button, otherwise the process will stop. Now it will not put the windows up, but when you do have everything up and closed, when you go to lower it, it will actually lower the windows too. So you can get a look at what this looks like with the top currently up. So it's a soft top, it's black. It matches nicely with the rest of the black accents. Now in order to do the reverse process, the windows would start to go down. And then just by holding on this, it's a pretty quick process. So if it's a hot day out, you can have this down and ready to go for the day. You do have to wait until those pieces go back into place. You hear that beep, it is good to go. As we look at the rear now, I currently have the active spoiler popped up. You can push a button to do that if you want to flex. Of course, it'll go up for aerodynamics and then deploy when you slow down. This has LED taillights. The backup camera is actually hidden at the moment, so the vehicle does have to be into reverse. It'll pop down and of course give you those graphics. We have gloss black for the lower diffuser there with the quad tip AMG dual exhaust and then a few inlets right in the middle there for better aerodynamics. Now, as we work our way to the cargo space, you can use the button on the key fob or the hidden button up underneath. This is an electronic button and then a power trunk lid there, which is great to have. Now, with the top currently down, you'll notice that it doesn't hinder any of your storage. So this actually goes all the way in there. I have a few more items. There's a little bit of storage underneath the floor if you need to use it, but you don't have to worry about where to place your items when you put the top down, which is nice for a convertible. Now, up top, we can push on the left button to close it. The right one will do both as far as locking it too. And then we can work our way back to the interior where we have the beautiful flush mounted door handles. We can slide on that to unlock it. And then of course you can lock them from there. So this model also has the red pepper interior. We have the two-tone design for the door panel, all of the red stitching there, a lot of brushed aluminum. It's on the release handle. We have all these seating adjustments, which are heated, ventilated, heated headrest. And then you can adjust the front passenger seat from the driver's side to Burmester audio, all the window controls, you can put them all up and down with the push of one button. There's a release for the trunk, a little bit of storage space, and of course, all of the rest of the leather. Now, AMG is also an illuminating badge. And then the SL63 is a four seater. You're not buying this to place people into the back, but for today's video, I will hop back there where the front seat will move forwards. 
and you want to have the top down if you're riding in the back seats because they are super angled up so instead of being upright you're actually closer to your knees and so it's I mean, it's what you would expect for a vehicle like this. If you had to put someone back here, it better be a sunny day out. So you can have the top down to give them better uh, headroom. And then you do have to sacrifice a bit of leg room for your front seat passengers. But you're not buying this to have four people in the car, mainly for that extra interior storage. So let's fire this up with my foot on the brake. That hidden button is over on the right side and we can bring this to life where we have two digital screens. We have the gauge cluster, of course, and the infotainment system. Now for the gauge cluster, there are a few different settings you can go through. If I push on the home icon, you can see the uh, different setups that you can go into just depending on how you are driving this car. So if we go into here, you can see a G-Force on one side and then some other vitals on that right side. You can go back to more of a classic style so you can see your speedometer and then your tack with all that information now right in the middle. So you can still scroll through all of this. Some of the other settings, you won't be able to see all this information, but that's why those settings are there just depending on what you would like to see. You can even pull up the navigation in full screen. So if that's what you are doing for the day, you wanna see that map, you can do that. There's also a few other settings, which is of course helpful. Now if I scroll up, this is for the heads up display, which you can shut off if you don't want it there, but you have a similar layout as you saw for the gauge cluster that you can put up there. So if you're doing some spirited driving or you just don't want it, you have a lot of options. Now we have the AMG steering wheel with solid and perforated leather. On the left side, all of the cruise and adaptive cruise control settings. And then we also have some multifunctional dials below. So you can see you can go to your spoiler, your AMG dynamics, even raise the front lift. We can go do traction control, the suspension. You can do the same thing with the upper one. And then once you're on that, you just push this toggle underneath it and you can see that adjust. So very nice to have those shortcuts. On the right side is the various driving modes, which now you can see in that infotainment system. You have a few to go through just depending on how you're driving. You'll see that exhaust note change. You can also use the pedals just by pushing on that button. You'll see those are finished off in brushed aluminum. And you can also go to the individual setting so that way you can customize that the way that you would like to. Now, just above that, you'll see volume, Bluetooth, voice commands, even a favorites icon. And then these here will go through that infotainment system, which I will come back to. This also has the column mounted shifter. So by putting that into reverse, you will see everything up here. We also have the forward facing camera, a few icons or shortcuts to get around it. All the way down is into drive and then park is on the end of that stock. Very easy to go through. And then let's take another look at this infotainment system. We can push on the home icon there or the one on the steering wheel. And you have a lot that you can go through. You can go into your performance, your media, radio, go into all of your settings, just configuring it the way that you would like to. You'll notice the navigation is basically the home screen there where it's split between that and your climate adjustments just underneath that. So you'll see the fan speed, temperature, dials, the climate menu so you can further go through some of that information. And then underneath that, you'll notice there's actually three buttons with multifunctional purposes for each side. So on button number one, we have AMG. So this is the shortcut I showed earlier. We can get into the camera system. You can actually swipe your finger around the entire vehicle for that 360 view. The next button by pushing on that will get you into the top operation. So push on that again. This is how you can go through that. And then the one next to it, you can adjust the front lift. You can go to the active steering assist. You have a few other settings that you can go into. Hazards are right in the middle. There's also a fingerprint sensor, which I do not have set up at the moment. You can shut the screen off. You have volume adjustments and you can even tilt the screen. So on a sunny day, which the sun is going away at the moment, I have found this to be extremely helpful with the glare situation when you have the top down. So even moving a few degrees makes it so much easier to see and go through. Now underneath that, this has a wireless charging pad. There are two cup holders, spot where you could place your uh, hand, rest it there if you'd like to. And then there's even more storage space in the center armrest there. Glove box has an ample amount of room too. So you actually have a lot of interior storage 
for this, which is great to see for its size. Now up top, there's some call buttons. You'll notice the touch sensitive dome lights as well. But now let's go ahead and get this SL63 out on the road. And with another acceleration, woo, we got a pop. We got a pop. Oh, it's such a quick car. Again, $200,000 for this SL63 Roadster. I can't pick anything apart. It is such a beautiful, luxury-focused sports car, even with the option of putting the top down. It's, it's so cool. Now, you can only get, if you want the convertible, you have to go with the SL63. If you want to go with the AMG GT, that is no longer available in a Roadster. So they've specifically designed that for the coupe. If you want the Roadster, you go with the SL63. Uh, both are going to be phenomenal options. And the shifts, oh, the shifts in this exhaust, or the, the shifts in this car are very, very quick. I am thoroughly impressed with this, as well as its turning radius with the four wheel steering. So just like that, we were able to turn around and get going again. <laughs> I want to talk about earlier what I said, the sun has gone away, unfortunately, but with this screen here, honestly, I love it in this upright position. It helps with the glare and it makes it so much easier to use. Like it's a giant cell phone to go through all of that information. So that is pretty cool. And before we end today's video, we're going 35 miles an hour. Let's put the top back up. I haven't found the limit. I don't want to try to go any faster. I would say probably 40 miles an hour, you can do this top, which makes it very, very easy to do. Just like that. And I wish that it put the windows up. I think that is my only gripe. I believe that all four windows should go up just like they go down when you do the soft top. So minor, minor, insignificant gripe for 200 Gs, you should push one button rather than two. But it's nice that you can do all of them at the same time. So what do you guys think? Mercedes-Benz SL63 Roadster, a $200,000 ultra luxurious sports car that also has the performance With that all-wheel drive system, oh my goodness. Such a beast of a car. Well, stay tuned for the mountain trip. That will be coming very, very shortly so we can really experience what the AMG Performance is designed for in this SL63. But I think that's going to wrap it up for this walk around review and test drive behind the wheel of the AMG SL63 Roadster. Give the video a huge thumbs up and consider smashing that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our daily uploads. And I will see you all in the next video.